Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going to be going over the 2020 Bighorn Night Package. So this package is all new for 2020 and you can also get it on the Laramie Package. But as always, we're going to do a quick walk around on the truck, then we're going to take it out to see how it drives. If you are stopping in for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. And then a big shout out and thank you to Larry H. Miller, Dodge Ram, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with the truck. If you're in the market for new Ram, check these guys out. Now under the hood here, we have the naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi. You can get three different engine options. You can get a e-torque V6, still naturally aspirated, but you have that option and then you have this Hemi and then you have the e-torque 5.7 liter Hemi. So this particular one without the e-torque system, fuel economy wise is 15 around town, 21 on the highway, and then power outputs are 395 horsepower and 410 pound feet of torque. So this pick of the truck is finished in granite crystal. Absolutely love the color. The reason I picked this color is because I want you guys to actually be able to see the night package. There is another truck that's somewhere over there that's black with the night package, but then you can't tell what the night package looks like. So blacked out above here, no matter what color you get, you're gonna get a blacked out grill. So you can imagine if this truck was white, red, whatever, blacked out grill. It does blacked out with the headlights, which this one has the halogen head bulbs, you can get LEDs if you want. Fog lights are just down below, parking sensors right there. Blacked out with the tow hooks and then body painted on the bumper with the Snipe package. But you can kind of see the whole front end on that side of things. Now over to the side here, we have blacked out badging with the 5.7 liter Hemi. And then I love these rims. I think these rims look absolutely fantastic. So you get 20 inch rims on this night package, 275 millimeter on the tires and they're a little bit more aggressive, but not a ton. Blacked out Ram badging. And then this one has the black side steps and you can see the mirrors are body painted. And let me give you a side profile of this truck. Here's the key fob for the night edition. So lock and unlock and remote start. Let's press that twice and that'll remote start the truck. Hear that 5.7 liter come to life. Press that again and that will shut the engine right off. And then we can open up the tailgate. So this one's got the slow lowering tailgate. This one does not have a spray and bed liner, but you can get that as an option. And then you can also get LED bed lights as an option if you want. This one's got the 5.7 liter bed. I don't know why I said 0.7. Five foot seven bed, you can get a six four bed if you want. And then you've got the cargo line above with the power rear siding window. And then the other thing you can get is like the reds in the bed with the bed utility group. And then if we, Pick up the tail, super light, really easy to put into place. You can see the badging on the back is also blacked out. Bighorn badging blacked out, four by four blacked out. The exhaust tips are blacked out. You've got the tow package and then all the plugins in the rear. The only thing that's not really blacked out is the tail lights. I noticed that they kept these normal. I imagine if you got the LED tail lights, they'll be like the ones on the Rebel where this middle part's like black and then the outside's red um, on that side of things. But coming around to the side here, we can look at the rear panel. So this will look super similar to the sport package where this is blacked out and then you can see you've got the cloth here black leather on the side with the white contrast stitching you got a little door handle one of the speakers for the sound system and then here are the seats so they're kind of like that darker diesel gray color on the seats you can still fold these up get extra storage these floor mats in all these reviews have been in my way bad floor mats but you can see that we've got these little ice buckets right here and then just over there you can see you've got a couple charging stations with a full power outlet and then you've got the vents up there and then you can see you've got cup holders with more of the black trim in the rear as well. Now coming up to the front before we go inside, power folding mirrors people, it's the way of the future. But we can open up the door panel and you can see you've got some cloth here, more of that black trim with the soft touch at the top, stitching with the leather right here. And then you've got all of your window controls, the mirror button to power fold them in and then your mirror controls. Now over here we've got the adjustments for the seat. So you've got full power adjustment with the lumbar and then again with the seats full cloth, everything with the contrasted stitching, kind of like, the, I just like to call it diesel gray. We'll just call it diesel gray. I'm pretty sure that's what it says on the window sticker anyways. But you can see the pedals down below with the little hood latch thing right there. And then over here we've got our adjustments for the power adjustable pedals, your parking, brake, and then you've got your headlight controls, fog lights. Those are for your cargo light and then these are your adjustments on your screen, steering wheel manually adjustable. Now, if we start the truck, you said we go from the brake, push the push start, and then it'll say Bighorn on the screen and it'll start right up, everything will come to life. And then you can see the steering wheel. Let's go over that first and foremost. So we've got the little Ram logo in the center, cruise controls right here, gear selector right there if you want to manually shift the gears. 
and then you've got all of your controls for the voice commands and then these are for that little center screen right there and then it's fully wrapped in leather really nice steering wheel to look at and just feels nice in your hands in general here is that center gauge cluster so you can see rpms over there and then you've got the speed on the other side and then you've got this little center screen that you can scroll through a bunch of different menus with the truck and i know this truck has 11 miles but apparently they're averaging 17 miles per gallon which is Pretty good for a regular Hemi without the e-torque, I'd say. But yeah, those are all the different screens you can scroll through. Now here we have the 8.4 inch touchscreen. Just above we have a charging station. You can get the 12 inch screen and the Bighorns. Just want to let you guys know that. But you can see this screen is very responsive. Touchscreen time, really easy to use. You've got some cool controls like your heated seats, heated steering wheel. There's your backup camera. It's got a little zoom function on it as well. The trajectory lines will turn with the steering wheel. But this touchscreen, you can do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, all those functions on it. It's just a really solid unit. In general, touchscreen response time is very good. All right, here we've got all of our analog controls for the climate control system, your analog controls for the heated seats and heat steering wheel, your analog radio controls, and then parking sensors, your tow haul mode, stability control, and then that's your trailer brakes. And then you see you've got a couple charging stations right here, and then you get this little like storage cubby. This is where the CD player goes, but with this big horn, it's just, yeah. Now before we go here, let's go over these controls. This is your dial shifter right there, two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then your true neutral button. And let's pop over to the center console so you can see that you got the full console set up with the leather right there. You got a little USB charging station, you can open this up. This will slide back and forth. You still got the little measuring tables on the back. But if we pull this forward, you can see that there's storage there and more storage there and a little power outlet in the bottom. And while we're on storage, let's head over to the glove boxes, which you can see that those pull open nicely and tons of storage in both of the glove boxes. And it says Bighorn on the front end of that glove box. Up above here, we have our control for the power setting window. Your light controls up here. And then you've got the little things for the microphones on the Bluetooth. And then there is a universal garage door opener still with the truck as well. Now before you give Ram your uh, whole life savings because this is such a good looking truck on the exterior, this truck stickers for just over $52,000 before any sort of market adjustment. Let's take it out to see how this night package drives. Let's start off here in the night package. So you can see visibility over the hood is just like any other Ram truck. So the hood kind of bulges up a little bit, gets in the way just a tiny bit. Visibility through both of these power folding mirrors. And then you can see visibility throughout the back window. So in general, it's a pretty easy truck to see out of. And let's get off and see if this cool looking truck drives any differently. Spoiler alert, it won't. So initially setting off here, just feels like any other Bighorn. I mean, the biggest attraction to this truck really just is the looks and that's kind of why I mention them so much and that's why you'd get this night edition is just because of how it appears on the exterior but it still has all the same functionality of a Bighorn on the interior. Now let's talk about road noise and ride quality. So road noise, I mean, it's really solid. There's not a whole lot that comes through. Ride quality is exceptionally smooth. Even with those Larger sized rims, I mean, it just soaks up bumps really well. I mean, it just rides really smooth. It's just like all the other Rams and feels like a luxury vehicle, even though it is a pickup truck. You can see steering here, super, super direct. I mean, it just goes right where you want it to go on the steering side of things and has a little bit of play just like any other truck, but in general, it's a pretty solid steering rack. Let's get a little acceleration with this 5.7 liter Hemi. Aha, fuel lights on. But yeah, I mean, acceleration is more than strong. I mean, this Hemi is more than enough power for the truck. I don't feel like it needs any more power in general. But some things up with this night package. This really is more of an aesthetic review than a functionality review because they haven't changed all that much with the truck since 2019 other than the outside appearance. I personally love the appearance. I love when things are blacked out and sporty looking. I think it looks absolutely fantastic. 
this night package, I know that some people might be a little bit weary since like the grill and all that is blacked out, but then the rest of the truck is body painted and some people might just want everything body painted with blacked out badges. However, you have to see this in person. It just has this presence about it because it's different in how the grill is black and then the rest of the truck is gray or if you did like white or red or whatever. I just, it just has a unique presence and I love the look of it. So if you're on the market for a new 1500 series truck, check out the Ram and check out this new night edition. And there we have it everyone, the 2020 Ram 1500 Bighorn night package. Hopefully a Laramie comes in soon so I can do a review on that as well because this package looks so, so good. Especially I saw a, um, I believe it was a Laramie on Instagram with white on the exterior paint and with that black grill, the contrast just, I think it looks phenomenal. But anyways, if you're stopping in for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, comment down below what you thought, leave a like if you liked the video, and then a big shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy, Utah for providing us with the truck. I'll see all of you in that next video.